Welcome back to Push the Core Gaming. If you want to rub me, um, come then over. Just take come a over. hold of his hand. Just yeah, and rub in my and hand. And rub him. Come over. Come over. We, we won't mind. We got space. I know. We have so much couch space. Like I can see another person in here. Did we do a question last time? Um, I think so. Who is Arnold Schwarzenegger? What? Is Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> what is Arnold? Tr Sometimes he's the a shadow. <laughs> Look, there's nothing I can do about the lockdown. Come on, nothing. She's not. I think we're getting to the end of the game because there's a lot of uh, dialogue a lot of happening. Women now. talking, and usually when you're in the end of something, that's that's something that happens. Right, because you just stop it. It ends. Woman talking, you Woman stop. Woman talking. It's I over. I just hit the skip button. Just kidding. Did not. I'm just. That was a joke. <clears throat> kind of. <laughs> it is. That's a beautiful thought. That's a beautiful. Okay, I'm stuck on the Arnold voice. She just said your away. ass is space junk get away. or space juice. Junk. Juice would have been better. I swear to God, I'll haunt you. Man, for the rest of your life. She's a little worked up. I know. She's gonna haunt you for the rest of your life. That just sounds like an angry. You okay. Know, don't so... even need to, you know, go into it. But. Yep. What you got, Dust? You're What's looking at questions. What's the funniest thing you've seen a kid do? Oh, I'm not good at this. I got a lot of creepy things I've seen kids do. <laughs> that's that's your. I already thing, told yeah. that story. I think the funniest thing you've seen a kid kid do, like in real life or on TV, you know. I think real life would be more fair because I mean, yeah. who hasn't watched you know Americans Funny Home videos and stuff like that? Because that you know yeah I saw him, I saw a kid like uh, jump kick his grandma in the head. Off of like a porch swing. <laughs> In real life, he flipped backwards. Yeah. She didn't even see it coming. I know, right? <laughs> well, that's probably how it happened on accident. I'm sure there's some point in time where I watched a kid wipe his booger on his sister or something. I'm sure that was hilarious. Eh, that sounds mildly entertaining, but I mean, you can really up there. See that anytime. You know? It's really up there. I'm seeing the the little blue things. Is I saw some you. kids have sex once on the internet. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> that's illegal, by the way. <laughs> It was at a nudist colony, so it was okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the funniest thing you've seen a kid do, actually seen it. You know, like it hasn't if if I've seen a funny kid do something funny, it hasn't been within ten years. Well it doesn't least, have to so. it doesn't have to be a funny kid. It could just be a normal kid who did something funny. Right, right, right. You right, don't have right. to be a funny kid to do funny things. You could exactly. just be but you you have to be you could be a funny kid who does normal things or you could be a normal kid who does funny things. That, I'm just, that really I'm, started confusing me. Like, <laughs> really, it's like the most basic oh yeah. of life. It's just that, maybe that's why it was confusing me. I can of how confuse basic people just by stating simple, <laughs> factual stuff, and 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 just going into it like it's something complicated. You know, like if you're looking. Well, at it a, depends on your hey, interpretation. See, this conversation is already starting to get too. If you're looking at a clock and you're watching the second hand and mm -hmm. it goes around the clock one full time, uh -huh. then you reach a whole minute. Now, mm -hmm. if you watch the whole second hand go over around the whole clock. Are you trying to 60 me? times, then that's 60 minutes. That gives you an mm -hmm. hour. You're trying to get what I'm definitely. saying. Yeah. And if you watch that again, if you watch that 60 seconds, go all the way around the clock 60 times mm -hmm. and you get an mm -hmm. hour and then you watch that hour move around 24 times, then you get a whole day. Does that confuse you at all? <laughs> no, but I, I see what you're – yeah, because I, I picked up on what you're see, doing. See, I just took the most basic it's thing, thing I, I could think of and made it really right. complicated. Exactly. No, I, it's – it's you could you could pretty much do you that. You break like anything even, simple down. Right. You can make it sound That's complicated. That's because technically everything is, is is complicated, even just me moving That's... my hand. Do you want to talk about all the phys physics involved Oh, my involved God. In that? You, could, you could make calculations. Dude, if I was really life, smart, I would go into the formulas of gravity and stuff. Right, right. You know? <laughs> You could, uh, like, you could just talk, yeah, in unlimited amounts of equations. Actually, it would be infinite, wouldn't it? In a way, you could make infinite equations on that. Not yeah, infinite, down, because, because no, if you because follow you have the a starting, decibel all the way past Okay, in, hold on. If infinity. you have a starting point and a stopping point, now, if you want to go through to the end of time with that, then, yeah, it's infinite. But yeah. <laughs> you have to have a starting point at least and Every, then go. Well, it's like a ray, you know, the well, line that with the arrow at the end of it. Even if there's an end of the movement, you could have infinite calculations because um, no. because there is no end to a number between 0 and 1. Oh, yeah, infinity See? is yep. confusing. Yeah, if yeah, exactly. There's infinite infinity numbers is between so zero mean and one. because 
you can't count to one if you count all the decimal places in between right. zero and one. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I bet a lot of people don't really even think about that. You know? I've thought about it. I know. And mathematicians hate that. <laughs> Actually, I've I've learned I've watched documentaries on infinity, and you know what those crazy motherfuckers do? What do those crazy mo shits do? They. <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> yep, I did. They um. They start going into how you can have different levels of infinity and stuff. Oh, and that's, that's where I never thought yeah, of that. For me, that's where it gets confusing. It's like those infinity amounts of different kinds of infinity. You know? Yeah, but you can number them in an infinite kind of way. I know. That's interesting. Very, very and then if you funny. add the infinities to the other infinities, you get more infinities. Mm. And then the more you add the more infinities, the bigger your infinity gets. See what I'm doing all over again oh, with the I whole see. just explaining I hear, really. You know, I hear what you're doing with this convoluted infinity talk. <laughs> you know? You know, it kind of reminds me, of but inf- not completely, of, like, antimatter, you know? Oh, my God, with the antimatter. I know, I know. Mm. You know? You know, do I know, I know, you know. We all know for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I like a, some ice cream. I know, right? What's your favorite kind of ice cream? So this guy, like, my favorite kind know. of ice cream is strawberry. Ken likes, like, going to work without his shoes on. He wears, like, these open-toed sandals, and his boss is like, Motherfucker, I told you not to wear those to work. You're yes. supposed to wear steel toes, Dad. What the hell's wrong with But Ken was you? like, he looked him straight in the eye. He was like, Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Bitch, what do you think you're talking to? You talk, you think you're talking to someone who's not been here very long? I've been here forever. He looked his boss in his face, and he was like, Bitch, you're talking to the sandal, Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they call me, right? I was like, here. bitch, I got seniority. You don't My yell name. at someone who has seniority. You go yell at new guy. <laughs> you go yell. Yeah. So Ken is one of the, the Mexicans that works. At no, all of a sudden, I'm, like I'm one Asian. Of the you, go talk to, you go talk to Emily. She called me the Mexican man. I mean, she called me the sandal. <laughs> she called me the sandal man, man. See what I did there? Yeah, I used man twice because you can, man. Yo, man, I don't like to th- I don't like to say like the filler words in my sentences. So like I just say I don't say and I don't say what I just said. She what did this? Who <laughs> she did that? Who <laughs> instead of saying like she and this other girl, I was like she this other girl. <laughs> she You're this losing girl. me. You're losing the flow. <laughs> the flow went away. The flow went away, I'm just man. Saying, like when you start say- talking like that, you're like she did what? First we were talking about open shoes, then we were talking about she did what? I'm Yo, like, man, what? they call me the sandal, bro. <laughs> They saw the I am wearing none of that. Op- I am wearing none of that. That that. <laughs> How do I get? I don't wear steel toes and shoes. You know, Can you throw something about. at that? I tried. Oh, bogey. See, I tried using this. Can you turn in anything small and squeak oh. through that crack up there, or do you have to be uh, at an even level with? That'd be cool if you could find like a dead mouse and like just freaking like dead <laughs> turn mouse? into a dead. There's okay, rat. A dead rat and turn into the dead rat and like it's flopping around. There's not another way in there. I don't think so. Sorry, Des, we're getting serious. That's cool, find, I know. You, sometimes to you go. gotta like try to figure out where to go. We gotta focus game, and know? help the guy who's playing. You gotta focus. You gotta focus on the game. It looks very interesting in there. There's <laughs> lightning going off. It won't let like, me there's in a, there. There's like, like there's an indoor, there, there's an indoor there's an indoor storm there. in there. There maybe there's an indoor swimming pool. Nope. Yeah, I hope not with this, the I lightning. I mean, it could be on the other side of that wall. So you would not know. Do you think you have to get leverage three to get through there? I don't know. I don't is even it... know if this is part of the story. Oh, you might be on a side quest? Yeah, it's restore from backup. Okay, deep escape storage. deep storage. Yes, deep storage. Okay, and the keys deep. to the kingdom. This deep. is a, deep yeah, Alex's deep. Arboreum. Alex. Deep. So What's escape? I've done that. Escape? Are you trying to escape, like, the... The place you're in? Is this the end of the Central game? Central repository is sealed. Check the security booth. What do you think the end... Do you think there's an end boss? Because they don't like to put do. end bosses at, at these games sometimes. Boss. It's just like some... Um, it's like five... You just end up fighting like five nightmares in it's one gonna room. It's going to be your main guy's best friend, Derek. It's going to... Yeah. No, and he's going to be like... Be, it's going to be your uncle. He's going to be like, I'm a nightmare now. And I got five buddies with me. And you're going to have to fight five, and then, and then, five yeah. nightmares plus me. But, and then he's going to be like, where's your five buddies at? I just see you. And he's like, right here. And then like his body's going to split into like, like five <laughs> nightmares. <laughs> plus it's himself. Be a know? Resident Evil style. Like just... <laughs> and then, now there's Resident six Evil style, dude. There's going to be eyeballs all over every part of him. <laughs> And it's gonna be like, here's how you beat him. And, and every like, way you try to run around him, he, he's like, I see you. 
<laughs> yeah, he'll say that. Like, that's the Resident Evil way. I see you over there. <laughs> and then he's going to, like, jump in the air and disappear. And you're like, where'd he go? And it's like, bam, right in your head. You know what's crazy about the Resident Evil enemies? Or bosses, they always have to keep talking to you throughout the whole battle. That's what battle. I mean. That's what you were saying. You're like, like I, I see you. you. They're it's like, like, you think you can escape me? I don't think so. Right, right. And it's like, dude, you got like 50 eyeballs. Of course you freaking see me. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, 50 eyeballs and a big arm with a knife on it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, dude. Like somehow he has his dude. and 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 they walk really slow. Right, like, but like, they're like, they're a threat, so stay away. But, but, but they have this move where they lunge at you so fast that you cannot dodge it. So, like, you can get all the way across the room from them when they're and walking, they're just like, like they're one like, mile per hour. Vroom. And then all of a sudden, they're like, what? And then you're like, oh, shit. And they're like, wham, like, instantaneous. They're just like, like whoosh, and there's this big striking sound. And, like, their tendril goes all the way all around the, way the room. It, and like, you're like, swings. And you're like, how the hell do I dodge Stop. that? You, well, here's, here's how you do it. You don't actually dodge it. You just save up so much ammo throughout the, the game that you just... Like, use your strongest weapons to try to, like, just kill him destroy fast. him instantly. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't dodge the hits. <clears throat> there are some Resident Evil 2 bosses that do seem like that. Oh, dude, Resident Evil Lots 2. Of... When is that remake coming out? I want it. Oh, yeah, yeah. There is a remake. I'm a part of this. Um, It's called Gamers. He's a part of this group. On Facebook. On I'm a Facebook. part of this group called it's a cult, really. Gamers Group. Uh-huh. And, they get together. And no, it's just a post where you can well, talk about video games and stuff. A chat. Someone just posted that he played through Resident Evil 7 and he mm. thought it was overrated. What? It's like, like the best freaking game ever. I don't think it was overrated. He no. said Resident Evil 4 was better. That was his comment. Wait, Resident Evil 4 and 7? Uh, wait, 4? Uh, yeah, uh, no, my, no, no. Comment, my comment no, was... No, I'll agree with that. No, I agree with him completely, actually. My I, comment was Resident I Evil 7, think... it was good and eh, fun, and that's okay. all it was. It needed right. to be. But see, that's the thing, though. Like, I feel like Resident Evil 4 was you so much what? longer and had more... I think for its time, you know it what? probably had a lot more Here's time the put thing. into it. Resident Evil 4 was revolutionary. <clears throat> yeah. Everybody copied Resident Evil 4 yep, the after format. it came out. Yeah. Okay. And then 7 was good, but it was a copy of what was already going on. Like with the uh, horror video games and stuff. Well, if 7 would have came out, and... if 7 would have came out before they started doing that in all the other games, it would have also been known as revolutionary. Yeah, but what I think another thing is that like I think games get nowadays like, have have deadlines and they get pushed out too fast. What if instead of Resident Res Evil 7 What if been. instead of Resident Evil 6, Resident <laughs> Evil 7 came out at the time Resident Evil 6 came out? Mm -hmm. Like at in that format, it would have been something. Six and seven at the same time. Six wasn't. No, that no, good. no, no. I had the same. I'm just saying. What if six was seven? Oh, it would have been revolutionary. It would have been. Yeah, because well, everybody wasn't doing that first person right, horror right. haunted house. I feel style. like Resident Evil Seven was like, like literally, like they could have named the game like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and like you would have thought that it was based <laughs> off the movie. Right. You know what I mean? I mean, like, yeah. So you're not fighting hordes of zombies. <laughs> you're you're literally captured by a family that you're trying to escape. And you know what? You know what they should have done at some point in the game, any point in the game, made reference to like Leon Kennedy, blah blah blah. You know, it doesn't matter what context. If they just yeah. threw his name in the game, you'd be like, Oh, this is a Resident well, Evil game. It's kinda like the go the new Ghostbusters movie. Like they if they wouldn't have named it Ghostbusters, like and didn't have the car or call themselves Ghostbusters, you know, you wouldn't even have... It, w it wouldn't even been affiliated. He could have no. gotten away with marketing right. it as his own thing. Exactly. A hundred percent. But that's how Resident Evil 7 is. But it has the Resident Evil name you know on what? it, but the it thing was about not the... like a traditional Resident Evil game. The thing about Which is the... fine. They're trying to move away. You know, I understand trying new things, but, you know... Think little... about the female Ghostbusters movie, if you do look at it as Why do you call it own... the female Ghostbusters movie? Oh, my like, God. Like, that is not the part about it that bothers me. And I know a lot of people complain about that. And then there's, no, like, oh, that... all the sexism. Dude, involved. And I know dust. you weren't trying to go there, Ken. But... No. Yeah, I wasn't. That's not the. That was just the easiest way to. You could have said the name new it. Ghostbusters movie. I don't remember exactly <laughs> what year it came out. So otherwise, I would have said like the 2015 or the whatever. New Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. <laughs> the like new the Ghostbusters. The new Ghostbusters. Wasn't that a cartoon? The newer Ghostbusters movie. Everybody's gonna know what you're talking about. Okay, the newer Ghostbusters. Now I even better known as thought. the female one. Thanks okay, for come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for cutting me off. I don't even remember what point I was. You're gonna oh, say oh, something oh, about oh, the oh, female oh, Ghostbusters oh, movie. Oh, oh, the actors. At least the actors were a lot of like, like female actresses 
Well, who, if they weren't females, it wouldn't be the weren't female. Who weren't really, 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 really well-known then? Then uh, What? But they're pretty when the movie well, came out? They're pretty well-known now. They were well-known. Oh, well, I Dude, wasn't McC- familiar. Dude, Melissa McCarthy? I wasn't familiar And then that. that other girl who played as, like, the... the that other girl? The awkward one? Kristen no, okay. Wiig? So, half of them... Kristen Wiig? Was that her? Yeah. She's, like, the SNL girl. Yeah, Kristen yeah. Wiig. Or so, the, like, the half crazy of the one. Ghostbusters were well-known. The other half were not well-known. The well crazy known. one. No, the crazy the one. The loopy one. Yeah, You're talking the crazy about... one. Not the blonde. Do you have <laughs> freaking pay attention to hairstyle? I'm talking about the blonde with the that wore all the goggles and the weird I stuff. I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember her name. It's something McKenna. Yeah. Anyway, we got to end this episode. Thanks right. again for watching this Thanks episode. Thanks for watching. Push the core gaming. Come back next time. Thanks again. Like and subscribe. All that. Drop some comments. Holla. All of them. Okay. Okay. Well, good.